Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Harris, an investment banker and CFA charter holder who studied at Imperial College London. I completed the CFA charter in 2023, and now that it's been around 18 months, I wanted to share an update as to whether I think it was worth it. So in this video, I'll cover the pros and the cons of doing the charter and then my view as to whether it was worth it. Let's go. Okay, let's start with the pros. And there are a few here, which is obviously a good thing. And the first one is knowledge and skills. The CFA charter is probably the most comprehensive and complete financial qualification there is. You'll cover almost every corner of finance, including financial mathematics, analysis, asset classes, and portfolio and risk management. This gives you an incredibly strong foundation. And if you do it properly, you can do almost anything you want in finance. Now, yes, Yes, you could learn this on the job. However, it will take you forever and you're unlikely to get that breadth of understanding. The CFA brings it together in one rigorous program and then you can choose how to apply it. So clearly you will develop hard technical skills, but actually a lot of the value lies in the soft skills you develop. You become incredibly disciplined, organized, efficient and resilient. Doing the CFA charter alongside work is incredibly demanding and it's only possible if you cut the BS and make every hour count. Now you can argue whether that's healthy and the CFA charter is definitely not for everyone. However, if you want to get a lot done in life, the CFA charter will level you up differently. The next pro is confidence. Now I did consider folding this into knowledge and skills, but I actually think it deserves to stand alone. I was speaking to a friend and fellow charter holder recently, and we both agreed that this is one of the single greatest benefits of the CFA charter. The knowledge, skills, and discipline you develop will infinitely increase your confidence, both at work and in your personal life. Not only will you get better at your job, nothing will phase you. You'll have a firm belief in your ability to learn, which means you'll tackle new roles and responsibilities head on. You also become fluent in the language of finance, which means you can hold a conversation with anyone. It doesn't matter where they work or how senior they are. And obviously this will also benefit you in your interview which I'll touch on later. Overall, the overwhelming sense of achievement from completing one of the hardest qualifications around will drive you on to bigger and better things. After all, success breeds more success. The third pro is opportunities. Now, obviously, this is one of the main reasons people study the CFA charter and it will bring you new opportunities. Now, there are some jobs that require the CFA, such as investment research. So obviously, these will then become accessible. Otherwise, the letters themselves carry with them a degree of respect and are a clear signal of your commitment and quality, which will help your CV stand out. It will almost certainly increase your chances of landing an interview, but obviously after that, it's on you to perform and convince the employer that you're the right person. But obviously in this hyper competitive world, it's very difficult to get your foot in the door and the CFA can definitely help with this. Related to this is networking. Now, generally people really struggle to connect with other like-minded people. And again, this is a benefit of the CFA charter. Once you pass, you join an exclusive club and get access to a global network of professionals via social events, conferences, and so on. It also helps with cold outreach, such as connecting with people via LinkedIn. So people will either message you or respond to your message because you have those through letters, which definitely makes networking easier. The final pro is more money and people usually expect this higher up the list and it is a benefit, but it needs some caveats. Now the CFA charter will probably increase your pay in the long run, but this is not guaranteed and it depends on who you work for, economic conditions, and most importantly, your performance. Generally, you earn more as a CFA charter holder because you're better at your job, not because you have the three letters. But generally, the data does suggest that CFA charter holders earn more than their peers. This chart from Analyst Prep shows the sorts of raises you can expect across different roles with the average being around 20%. 20% compounded over 30 plus years is a lot of money. So clearly the CFA charter can increase your earning potential. Now, yes, there is a cost of maintaining your membership, which I'll touch on in a second. However, your earning potential increase more than offsets this. Real quick, the CFA exams are highly time pressured. And if you're going to pass them, you need to master the calculator. But most people don't know where to start. So I put together a free guide with everything you need to answer questions quickly and accurately, which saves you time and increases your chances of success. As I said, it's free. Check out the link in the description. OK, so there's clearly a bunch of pros to doing the CFA charter. Now let's look at some cons. So the first one is sacrifice. Now, firstly, the CFA charter does require a huge time commitment. So it'll probably take you at least three years, around 300 to 400 hours per level, which is around 1000 hours, which is clearly a lot of time. So it does require real sacrifice, such as time with family and friends, social events, leisure time and other interests. And you can argue that's time and experiences that you won't get back. Also, although completing the CFA charter will lead to future networking opportunities, it's very hard to make time for this whilst you're studying. And some people argue developing a network early Earlier in your career is more valuable. In my opinion, there's two ways you can think about this. So firstly, you can focus on developing a network earlier in your career and hope this opens doors for you. 
or you can focus on building knowledge and skills earlier in your career and the network will come to you. Now, I resonate more with a second train of thought, which is echoed by Naval Ravikant, and that's why I chose to do the CFA Charter. So only you can decide if it's right for you. The truth is anything worth achieving requires sacrifice, so you need to inspect your motivation. Do you want to do the CFA Charter enough? The second con is relevance. Now, the truth is not everything you study in the CFA Charter is relevant and applicable. Yes, breadth is useful up to a certain point, but when you find yourself deep in options pricing theory or portfolio management theory, you might ask yourself why the hell are you doing this? This applies even more if you are not working in asset management. So I work in banking, so the CFA Charter was only really relevant up to a certain point. So this is definitely a drawback of the Charter, but they have tried to address this in a few ways. So firstly, there is now a greater focus on applied modules at level one, such as fixed income and equity, and less so on theoretical ones, such as statistics and economics. The introduction of practical skills modules is also an improvement. For example, you can now do financial modeling at level one, which is directly applicable to many people's jobs. And finally, and this one's very important, is the introduction of specialized pathways at level three. So you can now choose either traditional portfolio management, which covers public markets and securities, or you can do private markets or private wealth. And you can choose this depending on your career path. So it's a huge improvement. So I do think the CFA Charter has improved since I did it. And I also appreciate having that breadth of knowledge. As I said, earlier in the video, it's great being able to talk to anyone about anything. However, it's little consolation when you're studying it. The final con is cost. Now, objectively, the CFA charter is quite expensive. So it costs around one to one and a half thousand dollars per level. And when you overlay cost of prep providers, you're looking at two to two and a half, depending on which ones you pick. So it can easily range between six to eight K to complete the charter. Now you can make this cheaper by registering early for the exam, which reduces enrollment costs to $500 and by choosing cheaper prep providers. However, nonetheless, it is quite expensive. Now, if you're fortunate, your employer might pay for it. However, this usually comes with a clawback provision, which means you have to pay it back if you leave within a certain period. So that does mean you're kind of locked into your employer. And to top it off, once you pass and become a member, you have to pay around $250 a year to maintain that membership and a little more if you want to join local societies as well. So it might seem expensive. However, it's quite cost effective when you compare it to the cost of a master's, which can easily cost 10K plus, And when compared to the cost of an MBA, which can easily be north of 100K and is only really useful from a top tier school. Also, it's a fraction of what you could earn as a CFA chart holder, which I mentioned earlier in the video. So the reward to cost ratio, at least financially, is very high. So with those pros and cons in mind, let's move on to my view as to whether I think it's worth it. Honestly, it depends on why you're doing it and what you make of it. The value of the CFA Charter comes from the knowledge, skills, and discipline you develop and the application of these, not from the three letters. So ask yourself, do you have a genuine interest in finance and does it serve your ambitions? If you're doing it for respect slash money, there's probably better ways to do that. For me, it's well worth it, honestly. I'm so happy I did it for a number of reasons. It taught me so much about finance, massively increased my confidence and performance at work, which recently led to a promotion. And in particular, I felt very confident in the technical interview uh, during the application process, which I can attribute at least partly to the CFA Charter. It also massively improved my discipline and organization, which means I can now balance a demanding job in investment banking, this YouTube channel, a baby, staying fit, and so on. Generally, it made me a much better learner, which means I approach new concepts with a lot more confidence, so nothing is too difficult. Finally, it's so useful in your personal life. I can't begin to explain how much better my grasp of personal finance and investments is and how much my general attitude towards my life, career, business, etc. has developed since doing the CFA Charter. It will transform who you are as a person, which is definitely one of the intangible benefits of doing the Charter. Now, I did at times whilst doing it question whether it was the right thing, because as I said, I was sacrificing other things, including my desire to launch this channel. However, I decided it's best to go all in on one thing at a time. and I'm very happy in retrospect. Now, I would emphasize the earlier in your life you can do it, the better. The more senior you get, the more responsibilities you have both at work and at home, the harder it is to study. So the earlier you can do it, the better. So hopefully this has helped you make your decision as to whether the CFA Charter is worth it. If you decided it is, keep watching because I'm going to share even more incredible value. You see, there's lots of information out there about the CFA and many prep providers that teach the content. But despite this, more than 50% of people fail each level for one main reason, time. Completing the CFA Charter is hard because it takes a lot of time. There's three levels to do, each with a vast curriculum, all whilst working a full-time job, which is brutal. And if you don't have an effective strategy, you'll fail the CFA exam and waste hundreds of hours and potentially thousands of dollars on resets in the process. So if you want to avoid this and pass your CFA exams first time without sacrificing your entire life, I have something perfect for you. Check out the first link in the description.